hey, what's up? I'm sure you've seen that Apple has announced the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. And on the whole, I'm like, whatever about it. The, the phone's fine. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's the best iPhone they've ever made. I can guarantee you that. But what I will say, there are three things that I am incredibly excited for that affect me and I think 15 of my other nerdiest friends. Number one is Apple Log. Number two is Aces. And number three is external recording. I'm going, I'm going to go pretty pretty broad with it. I'm not going to really dive deep into like the technical aspects of it, but I do want to kind of talk about what it means that those elements are now in an iPhone. I think number three is one that I'm extremely intrigued by, and I'm going to kind of like carve out a little section here at the end to uh, discuss that. But before we get there, let's chat about log and aces and why that's pretty cool. Apple log. <laughs> What's log? Well, Google it, man. I, I, I don't think I want to get into a deep dive discussion into log. But what I will say is that it's a logarithmic curve that will allow you to capture more dynamic range on your sensor than what you would typically get in a standard picture profile. There's a myriad of YouTube videos and Google articles and white papers that can explain what log is in a far better, more technically correct manner than I can just chatting right now. I do think it's more interesting to discuss it on what I think it's signals from Apple. They have for years positioned the iPhone Pro as a pro camera uh, option for filmmakers. And although that is somewhat true, you know, there are feature films that have been shot on the iPhone. There are advertisements and music videos that have been shot on iPhone. Problem is, to that point, like Olivia Rodrigo's uh, music video that just came out, it was a tie-in to the iPhone 15 launch. And a music video at that scale could be shooting on any camera that they wanted. For years, they've used that as a piece of their marketing. We're like, look, we're pro. Greg Fraser shoots on our iPhone. Yeah, sure. But he didn't shoot Dune <laughs> with it those pro features were actually more targeting the consumer. You know what I mean? Where it's like your dad's like, Ooh, look, I can shoot like a Hollywood movie. <laughs> I, 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 that might be disrespectful. I don't mean it glibly. I just mean they used it. They, they tied Hollywood and action and blockbusters to, you know, wide angle lens. <laughs> so, so it is a pro thing, but I do feel like given the opportunity or given the choice and the budget film uh, cinematographers aren't going to pick it. Does that make sense? They're going to pick something that can give them the greatest amount of creative control, both in color and in lensing. Like that's, that's one of the biggest things that the iPhone's just going to have to, the iPhone has a hurdle of getting past in something that they're, it seems like they're trying to kind of warm their way into by including like, oh, we have the 24, we have the 28 and 35 and where it just crops into the sensor. Yeah. I mean, fuck, uh, Leica does that. So, I mean, I mean, it's not a. It's not a gimmick to do that. I would love to get into how to do an ACES pipeline. But the, the, but the best part about ACES is that I don't need to show you. It's incredibly simple. On the, on the surface level of understanding how to integrate ACES into your pipeline, there, there are certain things that the, the more you learn about it, the deeper you get, the more confusing and high, highly technical it gets. But on, on the, the, the 
basest of basest levels, all it is is a pipeline. It's an industry standard workflow at, at the broadest level. It, it allows you as the colorist to send it off to VFX, to send it back to the editor, to send it back to you, to it, it, all this pipeline. It gives you one unified color space and workflow to use. And everyone can just use ACES. There's no wild, wild west. If you're shooting on a Komodo mixed with GoPro, mixed with uh, FX9 and, you know, Sony Log and everything, it all gets converted into ACES and it sits into one big container and everyone gets to live a happy life until it's smooshed back down onto Rec. 709 and popped out onto TV. Now you also have ACES integration, which, you know, look, all that really means is it saves you a couple of button clicks when you set up your resolve project. Um, I'm going to do a separate video. I thought I was going to do in this, but I've just kind of meandered for fucking way too long. So yeah, I mean the three things that I'm most excited about are the three things that are getting the least amount of coverage. And I think I understand why it's going to affect. So let's be generous. Let's call it 10% of people have ever turned on ProRes <laughs> for, for their iPhone. And from there, Less are going to turn on ProRes and their log profile. And from there, even less are going to put that into an ACES timeline in DaVinci Resolve. And the only people who need external recording are absolutely going to be putting that into an ACES timeline. <laughs> like there's no, there, there, it, it's getting into such a niche that, that honestly, Apple has graduated from using, hey, we're a pro system as uh, marketing materials and moved into, hey, we're a pro system and here's our credentials. You know what I mean? Like it's moved past like, look, we can do cinematic mode where like we'll, we'll use an algorithm to cut you out and there'll be like, okay, depth, depth map where like, you know, this is out of focus. It's cool. It's great. There's a lot of promise to it. And as the technology progresses, it's going to be a real asset. But right now, and and especially back then, it, it was it was a it was it was a gimmick. It was a cool one that has use case, but it it's not a pro feature. These are all pro features. I can guarantee you that if uh, Olivia Rodrigo's um, music video crew had the iPhone 15 and the ability to shoot ProRes, Log, and External, they did all three. And they used it in an ACES pipeline. <laughs> like, like, that's the level of um, Pro that needs those features. And um, pretty much no one else. But that's very cool because it means that you're getting the best out of the camera that you can possibly get. I'm just stoked that the iPhone has log, external recording, ProRes, and you can, and with a third party apps, you can dial in shutter speed and ISO. I love that. That's insane. And, and completely useless to 95% of their users. Straight up unusable. My dad will, if, he, he's the fucking, if I tried to explain this to my dad, he'd be that cat meme. It, it's nothing to him. But it's really cool to me. Um, and I think it signals to the future, especially with external recording and the, the, the future that I see with external recording and what I kind of am curious about is like, why are they not launching ProRes raw with external recording? They already have it in a bunch of cameras. Is it too taxing for the iPhone? I, I kind of doubt it. They could make it so that you have to capture it to an external recorder and then boom, you're, you're moving through and around the, um, red patent 
on raw recording, internal raw recording. You already have the codec. You've already made a deal with um, Atomos. So, Apple, where's the raw, man? <laughs> where's the raw for the three people that would use that who want raw and also want to shoot an iPhone? <laughs> They know what RAW is. They have an Asus Python. They, they have all this set up, but they're going to use an iPhone. I, you know, um, I guess I guess I kind of understand why they don't need RAW. But I am that one person that gets excited for having RAW recording of um, capabilities from a cell phone. You know, it's it's almost cliche for filmmakers to be like, well, you have a cinema camera right in your pocket. You know, we, we're, we are kind of moving that way, at least in terms of codecs. Lenses is another thing, and that is a big issue that uh, we'll have to chat about another time because I've been recording now for over an hour. See ya.